So you're a photographer, you're shooting great pictures and you're working on a campaign and the client says, well, we've got this behind the scenes or this internet two minute version of the same campaign. Do you want to shoot it? Now, of course, you want the same control, don't you, that you have on your stills when you're retouching or that close relationship that you have with a retoucher because you want to be able to deliver the best things. And of course, they both go hand in hand, photographer, retoucher. Now, it's the same with the uh, director of photography, the camera person and the colorist. So Da Vinci have realized this. And so they are trying to make the photographer or the retoucher more comfortable with the tools. And these tools are new and a lot of them live in this area down the bottom here of the software, the number two, where we have our temperature control. This is our color temp, which hasn't really existed till around uh, version version 12. And we also have a tint control, mid-tone detail, where you can sharpen up mids or just really nice for softening off skin after you've done a key. Color boost is sort of like a vibrancy, but really will add uh, color to mid-tones and I really love using that control and then we have shadows and highlights as well which are really going to try and target the areas a little bit more now these are controls that should feel a little bit more familiar to you having maybe used Photoshop or Lightroom now obviously you've got curves and they've added things as well in here like adding default anchors, so it'll automatically give you a point on a curve that you can change like this as a good starting point. Now obviously, all of these controls you can use, but you need an understanding of how they worked with your scopes over here. So I'll definitely be going through in all of these classes and always referencing the scopes, because the scopes are important, and they really help us in matching, and they also help us when we have a problem, when we're looking at the image, trying to work out what is going wrong. Why is something not quite worked for us? So I would say if you're in photography and you get the chance and you want to take control of your images by grading as well, and I think you know best of what you've shot, then I would really consider the classes because it will give you a very good understanding and help you transition from being a retoucher into being a colorist. Thank you.